Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 20, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We spent a highly inordinate amount of time talking that last episode, a lot more than I expected between the two of them. So uh, I, I almost wonder how much back and forth I could get going between the two of them, but... Do you want to check on them again? Nah, we'll, we'll save that for another day. Let's get to the galaxy map, and it looks like our only option is Paragus 2, that no longer exists, and, and the uh, Telos Citadel Station. So let's go there. I get a funny feeling there's going to be another animation or something that uh, will only show up on the desktop. Uh -huh. I feel like I missed the perfect opportunity to go, that's no moon. Because that did look a little like a certain kind of station. I'm just oh, oh. Uh. Come on, game. Attention. Why are you doing that to me? This is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like okay. the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. <laughs> they may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telo Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Dude, it was like that when I left. I mean, I had nothing to do with it. From a certain point of view. Okay. <laughs> uh, are we under arrest? We didn't have anything to do with that. How long will this take? Are we yeah, under I'm arrest? Sure, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to mm -hmm. the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship uh -oh. and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Well, I guess I know what kind of party I'm going to have. Not the one with the droid. Yes, that I just armed him. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. Um, uh, <laughs> this is outrageous. You don't have any evidence. You're out of order. Attica! Attica! No. Uh, I understand. Will I be able to get my gear back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Uh, they can't hold me for anything. We're leaving right now. No, that's not an option. Why are you holding us? Nope. I'll cooperate. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. You got any clothes to loan me? Again. Uh, you are a discount on solo. Um, who's that over by my ship? That does not look good. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone mm -hmm. will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. Uh, a force cage? This is ridiculous. I understand. Wait, I had some questions. Uh, let's go with wait, I had some questions. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Okay, then. I'm still a little mad about the force cage. I would like to form a, uh... Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. But, I mean, a force cage that forces you to stand up the whole time, that seems a little cruel and unusual. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I'm no Jedi. What's going on? Let me, let me out of this cage and we'll see how disappointed you are. I'll beat you bare knuckled if I have to. All right. I'm no Jedi. Jedi no, you're the one I am pledged to kill. There is no mistaking that. The exchange uh, is a bounty on Jedi, you know. 
You're worth quite a bit of money. The exchange, How much money? Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey? Do we have pistol envy? Enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. Um. No Mandalorian. Hey, match my Captain, skills. not helping. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards. Then. Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident. You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading right. your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Um, let's get this over with. Why are you here? We're in a TSF station. How do you expect to get away with this? I think I know the answer to that one. Nobody's lost money betting on the uh, faulty equipment. Never mind. All right, why are you here? Like I said, the exchange has put out a huge bounty on Jedi. I'm just looking forward to early retirement. Mm-hmm. And how do you expect Security to get away with this? Security have mysteriously shorted out. There will be mm -hmm. no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. I don't wish to fight <laughs> your body staying right here. Let's get this over with. I don't want to fight you. For me, then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave no, it's time for you, you to die. Then try me if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose now go of away, or I shall taunt you a second woman, time. A fool and a broken Jedi and no match to my skills. Uh, I think you're about to find yourself outmatched there, good sir. Journal entry added. Okay. Stun. And then flurry this snot out of him. The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. All right. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate. Again? We won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, oh, who is that? Is that Batu Ram? No. He was an assassin. <laughs> Impressive. You allowed an assassin to infiltrate your ranks. Achievement unlocked. Uh, no, he was an assassin. Good thing I didn't have to depend on you for protection. Uh, let's just leave it at he said he was an assassin. No assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. Alright, glad someone noticed that only after he tried to kill me. Uh, how low's the DC that he managed to sneak in here? No, not gonna ask that. What's gonna happen now? We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll hmm. be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Is that supposed to be encouraging, or...? Oh. <laughs> that is an actual option. The best of your ability? That's not very inspiring. All right, great. Another investigation. Now, let's go. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. 082. 082 is across the hall. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to mm -hmm. be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Uh, how long will I be here or get out? Uh, let's go with how long. I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragas facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. Well then. Uh, I'm assuming this almost. Good. We've got to get off this station. Uh, why do we need to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragas? That could bring the Sith. You know what? Forget it. 
As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. Uh, gee, shall I choose option one, one, or one? Let me choose option one. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. Yeah, it's almost like the, the meantime, we should editor's meant us Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. All right. Oh, look, synchronized meditation. <laughs> uh, accept call or do not accept call? Like, uh, ooh, ooh, can, can, I, can I send it to call screening? Excuse me, you have a caller, Moza, representing the Athorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Sure. Very Send him well. in. I'll let him in now. What else am I going to do at house first? You'll be visited by three people. Thank you for seeing me. I am Moza, and I've come to see you on behalf of Chodo Habat, our leader here. Uh, what does Chodo want with me? Why didn't he come himself? What is this about? Get out. Let's go with what's this about. Are you familiar with the restoration project on Telos? Is it Telos or Telos? I can't remember. Uh, no or yes. Yes is probably a good way to lose out on backstories. Let's go no. Could you explain it? The surface of Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War a few years ago. This Citadel station... No. Uh, Alright. It's going a little too quick. That's not usually the problem. Once the weather in a zone is stabilized, new animal and plant life is introduced to restore the ecosystem. Recently, however, we have run into a constant contention with the corporation known as Zerka. Perhaps you have heard of our recent troubles. No, what troubles have you had? Ithlorians are well-known ecologists and agricultural engineers. The Telosian government asked those of my herd to... Something, something. Okay. Ooh, funding. I like funding. I heard a key word. Funding. That means money. Alright? Alright. Republic relations began to deteriorate, increasing the purchase of transport costs of our biological station grew. <coughs> I think I see where this is going. Zerka approached the Republic and offered a supply and security contract, because of course they did. Zerka has in integrated themselves into the Telosian political system and economy, currently pressing to be awarded something something. Their efforts hurt our cause and consequences for the planet's respiration. restoration. Alright, how is Zerka harming it? Zerka recently wrested control of a number of restoration zones on the planet's surface from us. These zones begin to deteriorate within weeks. If this continues, the restoration process will be brought to a halt, and the Republic will not be willing to continue the funding it needs to resurrect it. Telos will remain dead forever. Um... Why? I wonder that myself. What does one of the largest weapons manufacturers in the galaxy want with planet restoration contracts? Actually, that's a fair question. Perhaps they seek unrestricted access to Telos' surface, which is normally forbidden. Even we can land only at established landing sites. Uh, so how did they take the restoration zones? Through a combination of legal loopholes, purchase political favors, strong-arm tactics, and sabotage. The usual way. We are simply not prepared to deal with such. We are passive people. We all wish only to help restore the natural beauty of Telos. Uh, so how can I help? Chota Hubbard is a powerful priest or spiritual leader. He sensed something upon your arrival, a disturbance, an echo in the force. He felt you might be able to help aid us. He bid me to tell you that if he could help Telos, it may be possible for him to heal you. Heal me? I am unclear as to what he meant by this. He says the echo he felt upon your arrival suggests that you yourself are damaged. He can feel the pain through the force. Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. Oh, hey. 
Use it there. Forgive me, I'm unclear as the message. I may have related incorrectly. If this offer of mutual aid interests you, please go to the Ethlorian compound here in residential 082 when you are able to. Chodo Habat would be most pleased to see you. All right. Um, <laughs> no, it doesn't sound worthy of, worth my while. I'll consider it. I'll speak with your leader when I'm freed. All right. This pleases me. Perhaps we'll speak later then. Farewell. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Nah, we're not. We're going to be visited by three people. The person of quest present, the person of quest past, and the person of quest yet to come. Yeah. All right. That that does not look like a comfy uh bed, by the way. All right. All right, let's accept the call. Good day. I am B4D4, administrative assistant for Zerka Corporation Citadel Station Branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jenna Lorso. May I put you through? Uh, what does she want? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am Jana Lorso. Why are you calling? I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Um, I don't recall him threatening me. Imposed guilt? Yes, they play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. What sort of rumors? Oh, I'm sure you've heard that you're a Jedi. One of the last, wanted by the Exchange, and who knows how many other organizations, for reasons good or ill. But that's of hmm. no interest to me. The Jedi, and your standing with them, have no bearing on this discussion. Uh-huh. I don't recall him threatening oh, me. and I suppose he didn't mention the Exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the Exchange to you if you work with them. No, actually, he didn't say anything like that. That was kind of... Or are you trying to say that? My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. Go on. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I, I like do on have that skill. Oh, wait, that's not what you meant. Whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. Hmm. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. Um, if you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Um, how are they in the way Their of things? The plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts, and tourism. It doesn't. Yeah, I think I know exactly where this is going. Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, <laughs> they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. Uh, okay. So what sort of work are we talking I'd about? I'd discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. I'll come by when I can. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation, and I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. All right, let's try this rest. Third time's a charm, right? I mean, assuming Explain we don't glitch in our seat. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served mm. in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child, 
but to lose so much. I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. I didn't realize either. Surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. Not because of plot? Such a loss of ability for a Jedi. It seems so extreme. He has been gone for so a keep getting some told. time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I am present. I'm right there. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs mm. recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. Um, why is the Republic sending a ship? Or how long will I have to stay? Let's go with why is the Republic sending Let's a ship. To further investigate the station's destruction and search uh -huh. for the missing ship, the Harbinger. And how long do I have the to stay? The Harbinger is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Mm -hmm. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. And the Evan Hawk is still impounded? The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. All right, and my droid. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. All right. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station, whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit hmm. Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hello, Beach Duck. Okay, so what do you think? Why do you think we need to leave? You know that from experience? Nah, that 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 feels like it's gonna provoke something. Let's go with uh. Ooh. Why do we need to leave? Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. And why would Telos because be it doomed? It depends on Citadel Station, and the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility, and the bickering uh, Senators... Yeah. <laughs> not something worth counting on. Man... Not counting on bickering senators is the most 2020 statement of this game. All right. Uh, all right, let's check in with Korea. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here. On the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Alright, stay or explore. We need a ship. Let's find the Evan Hawk. Why don't we ask the Republic for help against the Sith? Other Jedi. I should see if I can find anything out here. And let's go with that one. It is unlikely, but we shall see. All right, journal entry added. Communications console, what else do we get? All right, so we got the arrested. I got to get all my stuff from uh, somewhere else. Got to get that. Zerka's calling, and... Okay. Okay. Missions, missions, missions. Stuff to do. Um... I... <laughs> Okay, so all I have is clothing, a comm link, and a sonic imprint sensor. That's it. Oh, and some people to level. All right, we're 24 minutes in. Let's go ahead and level them up, and then I'll insert my little break. All right, you scoundrel. Let's level you up. 
And, ooh, some attributes. Um, I really want to get his decks up so his two hits a little bit better. He, he's not he's not a skills kind of guy, so bumping intelligence isn't really going to help. Wisdom would be nice because that would help with his uh, will save. But I think I'm going to get it with constitution. Because the higher level implants require a constitution of 16-ish. And so that, that'll give him more hit points to survive and... Uh, the higher level implants, which we can use to bump up wisdom or dex or whatever else, or both if we can. So let's go with constitution. All right, skills. Him and his whole four points. Let's uh, get his demolitions maxed, his awareness maxed, and bump up his stealth and security because those are those are the only ones he's got. I mean. I could bump up his computer use, but not really. And hopefully with the high demolitions, that means that I can figure out a way to use his demolitions to craft that sort of thing. Um, i got to figure out how to do that, though. But I don't think I'm far enough in the game that will let me use other characters to make stuff yet. Feats. He got Fighting Spirit. Because everybody was Kung Fu fighting. It was quite exciting. All right, let's, um, oh, um, rapid shot. No, let, let's do the improved two up in fighting because he is a dual blaster guy and that is going to get us the best use out of that. And accept it. All right, so he's leveled up and now let's get Korea leveled up. All right, skills. She's got a whole four points. Everybody's got stealth except for me. All right, let, let's get her treat injury up. Let's get her awareness up. Let's get her stealth up. And... That's oh, right, no more points for persuade. So do we throw it in security or repair? Eh, let's toss it in repair. Might as well. Okay. And ooh, what powers do we give her? She gets one more power. Um, no. Where is Battle Meditation? Oh, she's already got that one. And she doesn't get the next one until level, or the next one's not an option until level 12. Force Barrier. Um, since we do have that link where anything she casts on herself, I also get Force Barrier becomes a little more important now. Well, she's only got the regular stun, and having her with a stun droid would also be nice. Yeah, it's going to be either stun droid or force barrier. I do have the stun droid if it comes to that, but I know there's a couple of missions that I might need to borrow somebody else's stealth. And we've already got energy resistance... And we've already got Force Valor and Burst of Speed. All right. Let, uh, sure. Let's give her the Stun Droid. All right. And accept. Oh, she's got another level. Okay, then. And that brings her up to... See, now here's where... Her wisdom is definitely high enough. She's got finesse, so we'll, we'll leave the decks where it is. I think I might do... No. I think a constitution of 16 is about where I want them for now. Uh, you get one ability point every four levels. So if it does turn out that I want their constitution up to 18... I can do that again at level 12 and 16. So let's go ahead and bump her wisdom up and uh, really lean into the force points and force powers there. Okay. And for skills, we're going to do just like we did before. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. And for powers... 
All right, we can't upgrade force push yet. That won't be till the next level. I'm not gonna upgrade her dark side powers. I'm a little scared that she has those, to be honest. Uh, we can't do night speed yet. We can't do night valor yet. We can't do improved energy resistance yet. So it's bump up the stun droid or add the force barrier. Hmm. Let's add the force barrier. Okay. And accept. And there we go. Everybody's up to level 8. So this is where I'm going to insert a... A cut and then uh, and then I'll pick this up in just a minute well that was fun unless I just died then it was a little less than fun I hope you've enjoyed I hope you're having fun and if you want to watch live you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.